post traumatic stress disorder shortly called ptsd so post traumatic stress disorder developed in response to a traumatic events like child abuse sexual assault severe injuries or near death experience it is called stressor let me read it first after the experiencing a psychological traumatic events the individual is prone to re-experience the events and have recurrent and intrusive dream or flashbacks so post-traumatic stress disorder a mental health condition that develops following a traumatic events characterized by intrusive thoughts about the incidents recurrent distress recurrent anxiety recurrent flashback or evidence of similar situations so who are under the risk of post-traumatic stress disorder the risk factor basically childhood abuse or any kind of sexual assault sexual abuse basically female mental health illness client or lack of support system or low socioeconomical status it is the risk factor the other traits on natural disaster, terrorist, terrorist attack, combat experience, accident, rape, any kind of crime, violence, or sexual, physical, emotional abuse, or re-experiencing the events as flashbacks. What next? What are the signs symptoms? Emotional nervousness, detachment, depression, anxiety, sleep disturbance and nightmare, flash, uh, flashbacks of the events, hypervigilance, guilty about the surviving the events. So the victimized person feeling guilty but it is not his or her fault but she feel guilty so poor concentration and avoidance of activities that is triggered the memory of the events so flashbacks or nightmare insomnia or re-experiencing events or hyper vigilance irritability difficulty of concentrating or exaggerated startle response or distorted cognition means victimized person self blame or feeling guilty feeling of detachment from others this is the most common sign and symptom so after diagnose we go for intervention if you ask me how we diagnose it definitely in a traumatic events means stress or or preceding symptoms or disruption of social and occupational functioning so what are the treatment basically for post-traumatic stress disorder, we can try for, I mean, behavioral therapy or some kind of medication can work like SSRI, SNRI, or trazodone for sleep assistance. 
So what is nursing intervention? Let me explain. The client dealings with cancer may develop post-traumatic stress. Cancer release, related post-traumatic stress disorder can occur anytime during or after the treatment. The symptom of post-traumatic stress disorder are similar to those of post-traumatic stress disorder, but are generally not as severe. So as a healthcare provider, what we could do? We provide for patient safety, assessment the patient for suicidal risks, and we stay with the patient during the period of flashback or nightmare. We assessment for any kind of male adaptive co coping mechanism like substance abuse. Also, courage the healthy coping mechanism that have been used in the past. So what more? Be non-judgmental. So we do not put our own judgment and we will be supportive. Make sure the client that his or her feelings and behave are normal reaction. Assist the client to recognize the association between his or her feelings and behavior and, and trauma experience. encourage the client to express his or her feelings, provide individual therapy that addresses the loss of control and anger issues, assist the client to develop adaptive coping mechanisms and use relaxation techniques, encourage the use of supportive groups and facilitate a progressive review of the trauma experiences. Encourage the client to establish and re-establish relationships. Inform the client that hypnotherapy or systemic desensitization may be recognized as a form of treatment because desensitization reduce awareness about the negative effect.